Dick Herman here, Andrew tried to kill one on the camera, Paula Maloney joining me here in the booth, she ran for a cup of coffee, uh, Jules Emery Pellrine reading some of the ads as we get ready to start this Division 3 South Boys Tournament game. This game brought to you by our wonderful sponsors, Axe Screen and Window Repair, At A Glance Window Treatments, The Box, Brock Insurance, Congen and Coleman Insurance, David Goodman Tile, Don Allen Ford, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Furry Friends of Nantucket, Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation, Humphreys Electric, Inquirer and Muir, Island Carpets, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Island Variety, Joe Rapaki CPA, Cam Appliance, Killen Real Estate, Lindsay Incorporated, Matica Marine, Martin Burke Painting, Nantucket Airlines, Nantucket Booster Club, Nantucket Civic League, Nantucket Electric, Nantucket Insurance, Rooks Paint and Maintenance, Santos Rubbish Removal, Seagrill, and Sign Here. Remember, you can join our sponsors by calling Gino 99, 508-825-8817, as little as $15 per week. You can feel good knowing you're helping bring Whaler Sports to TV, online, and now streaming from Gino 99. That's 508-825-8817. Thank you, Jules. Good action here as we get started. And Tucker, the number one seed in Division Three South, going against Coyle Cassidy, the uh, number nine seed. They knocked off uh, Archbishop Williams. They actually split with them during the season, as did Nantucket, and they won uh, the third match with them. This is the first time Nantucket will be going against Coyle this year. You're watching this on Geno TV 99. This game was played on voting day. Advertised as a 1.30 stock. It started a few minutes later. Teams need a little extra time to warm up. We're getting started at about 1.45 here, but the sun is out. Cool, crisp day here on Nantucket. Beautiful soccer weather. And oh, first big save there for uh, Christian Lombardi. Boys here playing in the quarterfinals. The winner of this goes to the final four semifinal round, which will be played at a neutral site. Listening to the uh, Cole Cassidy coach over there, he's uh, telling his team, and I heard him in a little pregame talk to, they got to come out hard, come out fast, calm down and take the play over. But that's pretty much what any coach will say at any time to his team. Don Allen Ford now offering 24-hour towing and roadside assist at 228-0134. And Tucker trying to keep the pressure on there. And they're going to get a throw in here from the far corner. Sylvia, good job getting it in there. Ball's a lot. Oh! Big save there by the uh, goalkeeper. Jojo Zeef almost got it over his head. Nantucket uh, in the uh, white jerseys, blue shots, Coyle Cassidy in the blue. It seems like every team that Nantucket plays has the all blue jersey. <laughs> and they get on a tap. Oh, nice block out there. A little push off. No call. No call. Ball rolls into Christian Avati. Coach, Nantucket coaching staff looking for a push off there. Albert G. Brock Insurance Company wishing each and every student the very best year. Brock Insurance is here to provide you with all your insurance needs. Call 228-0104. Sylvia with a nice shot there. 
So both goalkeepers up to the uh, early saves in this one. Pushed out. Still be near Tucker Ball. Oh, nice little pass. Gets through. Sylvia trying to get a shot. He gets knocked down. No call. Unbelievable. That's it, Caleb. That's what we need. Okay, here comes a corner. Throw it! Throw it! Sylvia gets it out. No, that wasn't Sylvia, I'm sorry. Missed the number. Shot net window to get that one in. Nantucket couldn't squeeze it in, but got the ball back. Both teams very quick up and down the field. Very fast paced this early game here. Filling each other out. Pushed out, it'll be Nantucket throwing from the right corner. Sylvia gonna take it. Nice heave, nice heave. Anybody in front? Oh! Nantucket controlling the early play here. And Coyle Cassidy kicks it out. We've played about eight minutes here, 0-0. Zero, zero. Different than the uh, girls game started out. And Nantucket jumped out to a quick two-goal lead, but that was it for the day. If you didn't hear that score, the girls had an early two-goal lead first five minutes, two-to-one at halftime, two-to-two in regulation, and then uh, Abington scored in the first minute of the overtime to break the girls' heart with a uh, three to two victory. Again, the boys coming into this as the number one seed, Coyle Cassidy, the number nine seed. Boys won their first round game against Bristol Plymouth Sunday afternoon, three to nothing. Coyle Cassidy knocked off Archbishop Williams. I believe that score was two to one. I got it written down somewhere here. I can't find it. Oh, there's a chance there. Brown couldn't get his foot on it. And Coyle Cassidy clears. Right now, near Tucket, keeping the ball in, the pressure on. Island Pharmacy at 122 Pleasant Street, conveniently located across from Stop and Shop. Call 228-6400 or visit islandrx.com. Chris Ball! 
Nice setup, long shot goes wide. Island Variety at 5 Freedom Square. Gifts and accessories, party favors, cards, frames and photo albums, photo development, magazines and books, toys for all ages. 228-6883, islandvariety.com. Yeah, Tucker keeping the only pressure on here. Cole Cassidy, goal kick gets a big kick there. Benny Zeef over there trying to get the ball down the sidelines, gets it back and bounces off him out of play. Nantucket Airlines, we're all about this island. Just give a call 1-800-635-8787 or visit nantucketairlines.com. Oh, Castle, he tried to mount attack. Oh, number 14 trying to sneak in. Kristen Lombardi gets there in time. Steven Brown running it down, gets it. Trying to make something happen. Nice pass, doesn't get to Sylvia. Jojo gets it into Brown, goes out of bounds. Matic and Marine at 20 North Cambridge Street with over 40 years of service. All your body needs, sales, service, accessories, and winter storage. Give a call, 228-1163, Matic and Marine. Okay, the uh, Coyle Cassidy uh, goalkeeper has a strong foot. His 14, he's the guy that uh, runs the field. And Tucker covering him good. Coyle Cassidy controlling the ball midfield. And kick's gonna go out of bounds. It'll be Nantucket ball. Close him. Close him now. Close him. Cowboys Meat Market at 7 Bayberry Court. Call 228 8766 for all natural meats gone fresh every day. Thanksgiving turkeys and prepared sides available. Cowboys Meat Market. Or Cassie kicks it long. Lombardi gets up there. Doesn't clear it though. Michael! Hey, Michael, Danny, you guys stopped at midfield as soon as the keeper came. Push out! The referee is uh, a little bit upset with the assistant coach of Coral Castle. They're telling the head coach he doesn't want the assistant coach talking to him anymore. Corey, let's go! Guys! Guys! We don't want to play defense! Let's go! Coach, Coyle Cassidy, coach, very vocal here, yelling, doesn't want to play defense, wants his team always up, yelling for him to get up. That should bode well for Nantucket if they get a breakaway and they won't have anybody back there. Uh-oh, Christian comes out, grabs the ball. Good strong kick, carrying down the field, Sylvia gets cut off before it gets there. Seagirl at 45 Sparks, call 325-5700 or visit theseagirl.com where all the locals go for great fish and excellent seafood. Nantucket's kick doesn't carry through, ball turned over to Coyle Cassidy. 
Not a very good kick. Doesn't carry out the midfield and then tuck it fighting and get it back. Ben Daniels kicks it out of bounds. We coil ball down here. Push up, push up, Danny. Follow it, Danny. Follow it. He's going to run for a back. That's it. Okay, out of bounds. Be near Tucket Ball. We've played about 16 minutes. It's still 0-0. Spirited action uh, near Tuckett holding the uh, play, but no score yet. Sylvia, a nice little pass. Giorgio Zifo and his brother back out. Nice pass into Brown. They're talking trying to get a sub in. It's not out of bounds, so it's uh sub has to wait. Nice kick by Sylvia. Oh Sylvia takes a whack at that one and goes down. So the first sub of the day coming in. Paul Maloney did come back. <laughs> did what did you do? Sell two houses between games? Three. Three houses. No, what I apologize. I didn't think we were going to be starting right on time. So 22 27 on the clock, and it's zero. Yeah, Nantucket's uh, controlling the play, but uh, no goals. Christian Body made one great save. They must not have taken that long then to warm up in the game, correct? No, they, they pretty much get started about 140, right? Wow. Boy, my apologies. I left because I thought you said, oh, it'll probably be about a half hour before they get I thought I thought so, too. But Coyle Cassidy, uh, the, the officials check with the Coyle Cassidy coach, and he said 10 minutes, and they uh, they went with that. So Coyle Cassidy plays out of what town? They're in I think Southeast Braintree, Wales. I think. I don't think they're Braintree. I think they're further south. Ah, uh, no, I'm talking. They're not Braintree. Archbishop Williams is Braintree, right? Coyle Cassidy, probably Taunton. Taunton, that's right. Okay, Taunton. Taunton, you got to say Taunton. And what what league are they in, Dick? They're in the Catholic League. A uh, little little bigger than us, but but Nantucket, uh, Rich Brannigan schedules a good non-league opponent because he feels his Cape and Island League schedule is not that strong, and, and he plays. I mentioned earlier. He, he plays uh, teams from that league, uh, Archbishop Williams and Spellman. He split with Archbishop Williams this year. Coyle Cassidy split with Archbishop Williams, and then Coyle Cassidy beat Archbishop Williams to get to play here today. For right now, we've got Charlie here. Okay, Paul, it's still 0 0 here, and uh, back and forth action. Nobody can uh, get the goal. You know what I like seeing on the Nantucket side, though? They're regrouping. They're setting themselves up as a team. They're spreading out on this field, utilizing the field, and um, they're playing really smart, slow-moving soccer. They're really setting themselves up to fine-tune um, the advantages that are giving, giving them, and I'm noticing Coyle Cassidy, I think, is getting a little flustered here. Yeah, listening to the coach over there, he feels like they have the the advantage here coming into this game, and I don't see it that way at all. And if his team does get frustrated, that will certainly be to Nantucket's advantage. 
Well, he's one of those coaches that's extremely vocal and verbal and wants to be heard. And, you know, you wonder how much filters in with the kids. But right now that uh, Nantuck had handled that ball beautifully, um, you know, we've got such a strong defensive, defensive player in Charlie Harrigan back there, um, Jojo Zeef, Benny Zeef, Carlos Chavez, Caleb Gomes, Chris Sylvia. You really got just a strong lineup on that field right now. And um, John Montgomery just joining the game. This is going to be a close game, Dick. I'm disappointed I missed the first five minutes in the warm-up. I really didn't get to see what the, they were all about. The, the Nantucket had a lot of uh, the early play, and uh, didn't get a lot of great chances out of it, but got, got a couple of fair chances out of it. The referees are certainly let them uh, bang right now. Yeah, they seem like they're giving them a little bit more room than what we saw on the girls' side earlier, where everything seems to be called cross your teeth and, and dive If you give them too much room to bang around with each other, then it gets a little bit out of hand. And I think we yep. saw that a bit in the, uh, the first round Sunday game with the boys. Absolutely. Right now they're in Nantucket. Nantucket's end with Coyle Cassidy trying to have a throw in. Fairgrounds Restaurant and Pudley's Pub, Nantucket's favorite sports bar, 27 Fairgrounds, 15 HD screens to catch all the action. Give a call, 228-4095. One thing we forgot to do at the uh, end of the girls game, which we did earlier today, was give the three stars. So maybe just before, when this, when, before we go off at halftime, we'll uh, sort of give the three stars to the girls. I know they're deflated at the moment, but there'll be better days ahead. And, oh, they, uh, we'll, they played we'll, a great game, so scrappy game. As this game ends at halftime, before we go off air, we'll, we'll give our three stars on the girls' side. Right now, Nantucket looking to contain that ball. We've got Benny Z playing it off of Carlos Chavez, Chris Silva. That dynamic duo the other day, if you recall, Jojo Zeep was the one that scored that opening goal, uh, senior number 14. I'm actually hearing Coyle Cassidy saying, Mark number 14, don't let him get away with that. So they're on, they're on to his game as we're watching Jojo try to make something oh! evident. Almost, it's going to be a goal. Yes, yes, there it is, Brown. Stephen Brown. Stephen Brown put it in at the 9-10 mark, and Nantucket has a one to nothing lead. That goal was brought to us by? Killen Real Estate at 10 Easy Street. Call 228-0976 or email ryoung at killenrealestate.com. You know what, Dick, do you remember if we were covering it Sunday, we were talking about Stephen Brown, how he seemed as though he was so hungry for a goal. Today we got our wish. Nice we were, job. We were talking about that. We, we Both of us were under the impression of we were hoping that he would get the goal, and uh, I'm glad he saved it for today, matter of fact. <laughs> now that my feet have warmed up. You know what, I was so frustrated for him Sunday because he was so close, chipping away at that goal. I thought for certain he was going to get a goal. Just didn't happen. He had that focus, that intensity going down the field, but that was a beautiful goal by Stephen Stephen Brown, congrats. Now let's see if that changes the way Coyle Cassidy uh, goes at Nantucket. The coach has been calling for him to send everybody up going offense, and uh, you know if they get too many people caught up, Nantucket will get behind them very easily and get another goal. Well, I think what's happening is Chris Sylvie has been one of the go-to players on this team, and I think they're getting so caught up in following him that perhaps they've forgotten about Stephen Brown, who's a bit of an unsung hero here, and yet he's the one that got that goal. Nice job. Yeah, they certainly weren't. They certainly weren't uh, looking at him down that uh, end on that offensive sequence, and he just snuck in there and uh, got the goal. Yeah, he virtually seemed as though nobody was there. Joe Rapaki, CPA. Small firm, big difference. Helping self-employed people on Nantucket with their taxes for over 15 years. Call 228-9090. Chris Lombardi with the kick. Talk about strong kicks. That is beautiful. Look at how far down that, that ball came. Nice drop. Chris Sylvia, no stranger Trapped. to There it play. is. Wow. They got the trip there. Chris is very good at drawing that penalty. He, he gets the dribbling across the middle like that there, and we see it more often than not. He'll get that uh, call. And so Nantucket's going to get a chance here, leading one to nothing with about nine minutes left to go in the first half. Yeah, I think they've got his number. Chris Silva, he's just so talented, scrappy on the field. Every team just really covers him. And uh, we saw him score in uh, early tournament play. And... Um, Today, wouldn't be surprised if we saw another goal out of him. He's just so talented on the field, Dick. He's going to be missed next year. Yeah. 
Got a shot off there. Wow, and it just Caleb went Gomes. wide. Caleb Gomes, number seven. You know what? That was just, it seemed like inches looking at it from this perspective at a 45 degree angle. Beautiful. Go Whalers from Santos Rubbish Removal. We clean up the island. Inquire and Mirror, Nantucket's paper since 1821. Visit act.net for updates on all your favorite whalers and whaler teams. Great header by Chris Sylvia, keeping the ball in play, number 14. We think back to that girls game when we didn't have any officials to, to call the game and now we, we got the two extra ones here standing on the sideline. So we have four, four officials for this game. We absolutely do, but they want to cross this away from that net. Do not go in front of Lombardi there in goal. Do not give Coyle Cassidy any sort of an edge here to score and Nantucket is controlling it. Nice hustle by John Montgomery, number eight. They are aptly switching fields in play. Jojo Z bring it back to midline. It's like I got a little off break here. Oh, wow. nice defensive play by Cora Cassidy. And they took a little two on two going there, but they had some speed. For Sylvia, it looks like he is just starting to warm up for action, as does Caleb Gomes. Caleb certainly doesn't back down from any sort of physicality on the field. He's just got great skills all the way around. Chris Sylvia, wow. Whoa. Yeah. Stephen Brown, look at his score. Yes! Oh, -ho -ho, Brown's on fire. Woo! Yeah. Two for Brown. He's on fire. Let's go. Nantucket at the 432 mark has pushed it up to two to nothing on the toe of Stephen Brown. And I think Coyle Cassidy is gonna take a well-deserved time out here to uh, readjust themselves. We'll go over to Jules for a few minutes. Go Whalers from Island Lumber at One Pulpus Road. Rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. Furry Friends of Nantucket, we care for your furry friends with passion. Pet sitting and care at 332-9198. Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation, over 35 years dependable service, available 24 hours a day at 228-2411. Island Pharmacy, call ahead and have your prescription refills waiting for you, 228-6416. Island Pharmacy, conveniently located across from Stop and Shop. Cognon and Coleman Insurance Agency Incorporated at 57 Main Street, working for you since 1931. Richard, James, and William Cognon, ready and waiting for you, specializing in personal and commercial lines of insurance. Call 228-0344. Nantucket Airlines, after 20 years, we're not going anywhere, except Hyannis. Call 800-635-8787 or visit nantucketairlines.com. Okay, during the timeout, we got that straight. And my mistake on calling that first goal, Stephen Brown did get the second goal. First goal was scored by number 12, uh, Rondo Powell, who uh, was listed on the roster as number 8. So that saw, caused some of the confusion. So Powell gets the first goal uh, unassisted. Brown gets the second goal unassisted. The most important thing is we know the Wills got both of the goals. But, but we were in this position before where the wheels were ahead two to nothing the, on the girls side and wound up losing three to two. Let's hope the boys can take advantage of this two to nothing lead here and build on it. I don't know, something tells me the infusion and the, and the uh, I'm giving the nod to Nantucket right now. They're just playing beautiful, beautiful ball very much as a team. Great save by goalkeeper Christian Lombardi there. Um, and I'm glad we corrected that. I, th I thought, because I'm looking at Stephen Brown who's number 17, but Ronaldo Powell is getting them a bit confused. Um, so congrats to Ronaldo Power Dick. That was a beautiful unassisted kick he had from the corner. And um, yeah, I read I read the, the 12 as a seven as uh, as he came up the field. So that was my mistake on calling that goal. But we got a straight now. We check with the official scorekeeper, Mrs. Brannigan. We check with the Enquire Mirror uh -oh. uh, newspaper staff. So uh, everybody agrees that. Uh, it was number 12 on the first goal. Absolutely, that was beautiful. Right now, Carlos Chavez in play, Caleb Gomes. 
Stephen Brown, who definitely was on fire Sunday and a much deserved goal today. Well, here's the important part of this game, and we said this earlier today. 3.30 to go here in the first half, 2 to nothing lead. You don't want to give up a, a, a goal here and let Coyle Cassidy think they can get in this game. What you want to do now is keep the pressure on and hold the 2 to nothing lead into halftime. Absolutely. Keep them broken. You want them psychologically to be at a disadvantage as they regroup for that second half, and you want Nantucket to stay that, that much hungrier and ahead of the game. But clearly their coach is a bit frazzled at this point, if you can read anything to his body language. Ooh, almost. Almost that getting there. Almost. He skimmed it in, and uh, Gomes was trying to get there, and he did get there. The goalkeeper just grabbed it before he got there. I mean, just look at the, the, the presence, the, the, the body language, if you will, on the Nantucket players right now. They're lifting their feet. They're light on their feet. They're fast on the ground. They're focused. They want this win, Dick. You can just really see it. With two minutes and 40 seconds left to go, it's actually getting a little bit warm out now. Yes. Trying to cross it. Oh, good job Great. by the by the defense. Jojo Zeev clearing that beautifully. Coyle Cassidy up. gets a nice kick and gets it right back in. They're on the attack here, and oh. it's like it's Christian Labadi lets it go wide right. Long and wide. Give a boost to our boys and girls in Blue and White Boosters Club, always looking for new members. Meeting every Tuesday, 7 p.m. in CPS Room 20. And don't forget, call 228-9656. Auto tickets still available for the Island Cup game. Island Cup game coming up in a week and a half, Paul. A lot of people heading over to the venue for that. But right now, we have about two minutes left here in the first half. And we have an injured play now for Coyle Cassidy, but play is going to go on. So we. Uh, the vineyard game, yeah, I won't be heading to that. Are you going to be going over to that? i not sure at the moment. I plan to, but I'm not 100% sure. Carlos Chavez with the throw in. Less than two minutes left to go. Oh, Chavez keeping it in. Nice. I'm going on the ground with a blue kick. I got to push on white. Chris Silly got called for the push. I was surprised by that call. I thought it was going to be white ball. Danny, go ahead. Go ahead. Go up right. Stay. About a minute Probably a about left. a minute to go here in the half. Coyle Cassidy taking a lot of time getting this set up and oh. doesn't get much out of it. That was great. It was deflected off of John Montgomery. Look at Chris Silvey. He just motors. He, run, he is just so fast. Joe Josie is trying to make something happen. He had a beautiful goal on Sunday, first goal of the game. Set the pace for that 3-0 win on Sunday that we covered. Monty, gotta get back. Good strong kick by Cole Cassidy. You notice Chris the Sylvia. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, Montgomery jumps in to play some good defense. I was just going to say the Nantucket boys are communicating nicely, Dick. You hear them saying drop back, cover. Uh, we didn't really hear that so much in the girl in the girls' game earlier. Would you agree or disagree? I with that? I agree with you on that. Yeah, you got it. They all. Got to know where each other is and uh, let the teammate know where they are or where they're heading. Yeah, nice communication. Clearly, you know, finely tuned in that department, which is a credit to Coach Brannigan. I don't think we mentioned the, the crowd so much in the girls' game. It was it was great, but I, I think it's even bigger now. I think more people have shown up as uh, we've gone later into the day. They've set a voting booth up on the other side. I we, we should. That would that would save on the parking. You know, people. Park. People want to have the gun. The people from New Jersey could come here and vote a lot easier. Absolutely. All right, we've played one half. I'm gonna get get my three stars out on the girls' side, Paula. I'm gonna go with my number three star on the girls' side to uh, Kate Daniels. My number two star, Maya Kodalak, and my number one star, Alexa Crosby. I am going to have to go with my number one star being Alexa Crosby, my number two star being Shelly Colpitz. I thought she was phenomenal in defense. Number three to Isabella Day. She just really was key in her assists. And uh, hats off to Renee Perkins. She did a stellar job in the goal today. Okay, we're at halftime here. The Nantucket 
Wales are leading 2 to nothing. We'll take a short break and be back with second half action.